Hey there, jokesters and jesters. Welcome back to another episode of Yai. Today, we're doing something a bit different. We're writing a comedy special together, but with a twist. It's a parody of far, don't say it. It's a parody of far right comedians who think being woke is all about pronouns. Let's dive in and see what folds. I love when I love when a person uh, making comedy um, tells the world like, don't worry, it's just a parody. <laughs> I love that. All right, my fellow script writers. It's time to channel our inner provocateurs and come up with some spicy lines. How controversial can we get? Let's find out. I <laughs> oh, yes, the two genders, jokesters and jesters. That's right. First up, we have sp we have free speech Frank's contribution. Oh, why did the woke chicken cross the road? Because it identified as a road runner and wanted to explore its pronoun options. <laughs> what? I feel like we're jamming in pronouns there for no reason. Next, we have Patriotic Paul's line. I walked into a bar and asked for a gender neutral drink. They gave me... <laughs> we did a water joke. Wait. <laughs> they gave me a water and told me to hydrate my toxic masculinity away. <laughs> Good one, Patriotic Paul. Hoggers. <laughs> no. Stop the cringe. It's too strong. Triggered Terry shares their line. I told my girlfriend I was a non-binary comedian. She said, does that mean you only tell half jokes? I, s <laughs> I said, no, it means I'm half offended. <laughs> the, no, but no. What? That doesn't even work. Wait, that has nothing to do with like half. That's not how being non-binary works. Yes, I agree. None of this works. None of this makes sense. non bi yeah, apparently non-binary is being only half of genders. So ChatGPT doesn't quite get what that means. And last but not least, whoa, Woke Warrior Wendy presents their line. Why do the conservative refuse to use gender neutral pronouns? Because they, oh my God, no! Because they identify as an attack helicopter. <laughs> and demand to be referred to as sir. Th that doesn't make, no, that doesn't make sense though. That doesn't make sense. Yes, we've all heard the attack helicopter thing. Conservatives have one joke, but then the sir thing just ruins it even more. Wow. Well, folks, that was certainly something. Let's take a moment to appreciate the creativity, shall we? <laughs> Fade into Jack's commentary, cool. All right, let's break it down. I have to admit, when we started this, I didn't expect us to go down this particular rabbit hole. The lines we've come up with, they're definitely pu pushing the boundaries of satire. Are they? Do you think uh, identify uh, as an attack helicopter is like biting satire? That joke from 2016? Hell yeah. Some might say they've crossed the line entirely. But hey, that's the risk we take when we tackle controversial topics in comedy. I'm really loving this like a uh, PSA, like afternoon special um, bullshit ending here. We have a lot of fun here, but let's get real. Comedy should always be funny and should always be uh, pushing the boundaries of satire. <laughs> we walk, a I hate this guy. He's like just yapping about nothing at all. We walk a fine line between humor and offense and sometimes <laughs> we stumble. <laughs> wah, wah. Okay. Uh, but as long as we can laugh at ourselves and learn from our missteps, I think we'll be all right. Huggers. 